Hi guys! Okay, so today I'm going to be reviewing this stuff called Ipsa 10. It's like a miracle leave-in conditioner. And I did another like hair care, like how to like grow long hair video a bazillion years ago. So this one also is kind of an updated one of that too. So a lot of times I feel like, I don't know why I'm holding this in the air like this. A lot of times I feel like products that people review on YouTube are really overhyped. Either the person is getting paid to do it, they're being sent it, or they're just have that mode where they bought something new and they're excited about it and think it's the best thing. Okay, so I actually just got a haircut like two minutes ago, so that's why my hair changes throughout this video. But anyway, what I was saying before I left was, um, basically, yeah, I've had this product since September. I've had it for a long time, so the newness of it has worn off and I actually you know, have seen how it's worked for a whole month and a half, and I like it a lot. Okay, so this stuff is supposed to do ten different things. It's supposed to maintain the keratin treatment that's already in your hair if you have one. Um, it increases styling and manageability. Perfect for all hair types. I mean, that's not really something that it does, but I guess if they called it, like, it's a nine, people would think that was dumb. So, it replaces lost protein, protects natural keratin in your hair, restores hydration, detangles the frizzes, adds shine, that's all one thing, strengthens hair structure, and seals the cuticle for extra silky hair. And I don't usually buy into what hair products tell me or any product because I think it's kind of all like in your head and I feel like nothing works. Like, I don't know if I'm just crazy, like if that's just me, I just feel like I never see a difference with hair products. So, when you get out of the shower, you spray your damp hair with this, but towel dry it first, spray your hair, and then comb it through. And I just spray it all over my whole head. And you just let it dry, or it can blow dry it. And either way, if your hair is usually, like, frizzy and kind of poofy and dry looking when you let it dry, this will make it a lot softer looking, more smoother, silky, and... I think straighter a little bit. I don't know if that's just in my head, but that's what I think I think. So, yeah. Okay, so there's not really much to say about it besides it makes your hair really soft and shiny. And I mean, it sucks that it's $30, but it's still worth getting just because it lasts you for so long. Like, I've used this much in two months or a month and a half, so that's really not a lot. Okay, so I just wanted to finish the video off with hair care tips. So, obviously, number one is to get a daily trim, which I just did. And you don't even have to get a lot off. Like, you can get, like, one, two, three. I mean, three is, like, getting a lot. But one or two inches off, like, once every two months or something, all you need to do, because split ends don't really repair. They're just there, and the way to get rid of them is to cut them off. You can even look at your own hair yourself and trim them if you trust yourself. Um, always, use, always use conditioner, no doubt. Don't wash your hair every day, wash it every other day or every two days and your hair will be healthier. Don't hang on to dead straggly ends just because you want length, okay? It's hair, it'll grow back and there's good extensions out there so you know you don't need to have dead dead ends just because you're so scared to get a haircut it's just not cute and obviously my last tip is to everyone use this when you get out of the shower every time you wash your hair because softer hair shinier hair pea protected hair will be healthier hair so that's all see ya